have not made a video in a while. And I mean a while. But in that time, I have been playing a lot of single player and have a pretty crazy world to show you. I'll start with this town. And it was the, my first project in the world, and it was already a village when I found it. So I decided to revamp it. Uh, but the villagers ended up dying really early on when I was underground mining and wasn't there to set the time to day with a bed. Although I finished most of the buildings that I wanted to do, uh, I still have a lot more work to do, like completing the roads, adding more greenery and foliage, um, and I kind of wanted to make some different animal pens. Never really ended up happening, all I have is the sheep pen, and I had a little cow farm that I dismantled. This right here is a replica of the Saturn V rocket, um, which was the actual rocket that took the first humans to the moon. Um, and it's pretty accurate, I guess the scale is a little bit off, and it's also missing the center, center engine. Um, and I was looking for a big project to do on the world. This was a project that started out my vision uh, for creating a world that was packed full of a lot of mega builds like this one. Uh, they were kind of tied together and you could walk between. And that sort of came out uh, between like the mountains, that, that was a big project. So here is the almighty Pog Champ, uh, the famous legendary Twitch emote um, that my friend dared me to build in Minecraft as a map art. And I'd never done one of these before, so I looked around and found an online tool that I could use to convert the original image into Minecraft blocks. So basically I switched between screens and ended up uh, replicating block for block the... So at this point I really did not want to work with concrete anymore because it takes a really long time to uh, actually gather and uh, mix it together, turn it into hardened concrete. So I decided to build up the mountains that I kind of been thinking about for a while. Basically I wanted to separate the area with the more like advanced civilization and then the, the medieval sort of theme. So sometime around this point, uh, bees were actually added into the game, and I decided to make a sanctuary for them under the mountains that would be built up with mushrooms and uh, grass, and it would just be a really tranquil sort of place to chill out, I guess. Um, and I also decided to put my nether portal here because of a lot of the nether-related blocks that I put into the build. Speaking of which, I think it's time to check out the nether. Uh, surprisingly, before the nether update was even announced, I decided to build something in the nether. Uh, I modeled it after the bee cave because I had my portal there, uh, but it was a lot larger, which was manageable because I was actually digging out the area instead of building a giant grass donut that I later filled up with stuff inside. That was a pretty time-consuming process, and I really did not want to do it again. Around halfway through the project though, I ended up getting burnt out on the game, uh, and I didn't play for about a month or so, uh, until the nether update snapshots were finally released. Normally I don't play on snapshots because of how often things get changed and how unstable they are, uh, but this was a bit of an exception, and after grinding out some of the new netherite gear, I was actually inspired to finish off the project with the new blocks, and at this point it's pretty close to completion. And that's most of the larger projects that I've built over the world over the course of my 12 days of playtime. Speaking of which, Minecraft will automatically record your statistics for a lot of the things, so I'll go ahead and start scrolling through those now to end off the video.